how did you first get into like doing the all the media stuff that you do? You know, how did that um, about? Oh, it started pretty early, really, because I was like, um, I was like, well, I will kind of want to document a bit more of what I'm doing. And that first year on, on Ancelotti, when I didn't have to pay for anything, like everything, like before, I still had to pay all my travel and everything, but I didn't pay everything, which is a massive saving. And you get when your bike's covered and everything's like good. Um, it's it's a big difference. So, yeah. um, you know, like I got home from that season and I was like, I'm buying a laptop and a camera. Yeah. And I bought like a dad cam and like and a MacBook, and then which was like massive expense for me at the time. Yeah, but there was all my savings gone. Yeah, and I was like, well, I have to do this, and then I got to start saving again for next year. Yeah. Um, and then that was from there. I was like, yeah, I want to make videos, so I started making videos already in two thousand nine. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. And I, re I remember because I remember when. So probably would have been around two thousand and nine ish time. Yeah. Uh, I was I was running the chain reaction team at the time. Um, first of all, on on intense bicycles. Then we moved to Newt Proof when we started making bikes in Newt Proof. But the you know chain reaction had its own media people, and they yeah. always, they they always asked me to go around the pits and do a like a we used to call it a pages pit chat or something. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, and I'd go and interview different riders and stuff like that because, you know, my riders were ride racing, but I had a little bit of spare time between, you know, riding and practice and all that. Um, yeah. I did a little bit about a little bit of that, but then obviously you you started doing that. When did you start doing that? And you've t taken it to another level, which is, you know, yeah. such a good platform and program for people to watch that don't get to see what's going on. Yeah, um, yeah, and just to learn, try and help people know what people's true personalities are, rather than a straight interview where they ask them how their race was. So yeah, that's kind of the inside of the Win TV. But um, it kind of started around 2010. I was already like doing little bits and pieces with MDB Cut at the time yeah. when Mono was working for them. Yeah, and we'd just do some random videos at some of the races and it started from there and kind of grew from that yeah. and already 2012 I was like sometimes some of them I was making my own ones because I was injured so I had a mate filming and just like make my own videos yeah um which are quite funny now and then I did a whole bunch with um dirt tv with Billy yeah um and did a bunch of years there so I think 2013 to 15 was with them and then after that was with pink bike for a while yeah and yeah now it's just on my own channel it was on gt's channel for a little bit and now it's on my own channel and um i just rotate whatever random prop i use for the microphone and ask everyone how their race was or whatever inside gossip i've got on everyone yeah no it's 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 super you know enjoyable to watch and uh you know, it, it looks fun, but there's a lot of work that goes into all that behind the scenes, yeah, yeah. Um, which probably a lot of people don't ap appreciate. You know, you've got some guys that are literally just focusing on the racing and and then yeah. you've, you've got a lot more on your plate to do. But I guess that as, you know, on top of your, your riding and your, your racing results and everything, has that opened up some, uh, yeah. some, bet, some more sponsorship avenues and stuff? Yeah, I think it just allowed me to keep going a lot longer. Um, and you're still relevant no matter what place you come in the race. Like, yeah. No one knows who came 24th or 48th or 78th. Even 8th, even, even if, you know, yeah, well, it's insane. But if I yeah. say to you now without looking it up, you know, last year yeah, at yeah. Fort William, who come 8th? No one, yeah, yeah, and and majority you won't even know who got on the podium. You just know who won. So yeah. it's yeah, it's quite ruthless how short those highs are for like an athlete. Yeah. Um. So to have another string in your bow is definitely a big help if you can. Definitely. And Otherwise, it limits how far your career can last. Really, like 
it's a pretty short career as a mountain bike racer if you're just results focused. Yeah, definitely. And and so whose whose idea was the because it's it's great and everyone's anticipating what you're going to have as your prop for every video. But whose idea was that? Where did you get that from? I was like started out as the banana. Yeah. Majority, and then I was like, oh, I just started doing whatever I could find from the team, and then yeah, it it, it was kind of my idea, so I was just like, whatever. And then we've got we've done a whole bunch of things, so try and keep people guessing, but um. Yeah, it seems I don't like. Yeah, I could change it and just go to like a professional microphone, but it'd be pretty boring then. Like, you've got to stay true to your roots. I think a little bit as well. You know, like I I don't want to be a big production company. Yeah, and I want to I want to show what the true inside of the sport is. Yeah, I think people can see through those videos. Sometimes we're having a pretty good time, and um, it's quite a close knit circle you know like everyone knows everyone often you don't get much time with everyone but that post race is like you probably have two or three beers yeah. you're not getting drunk as such but you're having a real good time and chatting to everyone everyone's not yeah so they're all having like quite a good time whether they had a good day or a bad day and they're celebrating for someone so it's like it's quite cool like that yeah 